Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Inside Wildcat Country, the monthly TV show that's entirely devoted to University of New Hampshire athletics. I'm your host, Mike Murphy, at Lund Home Gymnasium in Durham, home of the UNH gymnastics team. Gail Goodspeed has more than 500 career victories at UNH. We'll learn more about her in our coaching feature. Also, we'll talk about the UNH main hockey rivalry, one of the most bitter rivalries in sports. But we'll start off with basketball also played here at Lundholm Gymnasium, where men's head coach Bill Harrion has a son. His name is Ryan Harrion from Dover High School, who also happens to play basketball here at UNH. The football coach for the Wildcats is Sean McDonald. You've met him a few times along the way. His son, Tommy, went to Oyster River High School, and he also plays basketball. Well, the Harrions, the McDonalds, all connected here with the UNH men's basketball program. A little confusing, we'll clear things up for you right now. I, I think it's very unique. I don't know. Somebody should probably do uh, some research on this and check every Division One basketball program in the country and find out if there's any coach that has, let alone their own son, but the football coach's son um, on the team. And we treat both both kids, both both young men, like anybody else on the basketball team. And I think that's what's made the situation, I think, more comfortable and, and easier. Yeah, I mean, my dad, he's said it multiple times. I think he's the only coach in the country that probably has his son and then the football coach's son on, on a team. Two kids playing basketball or, or playing any sport at the college level for a coach who's, you know, you're probably your best friend in coaching at the school that you're at, you know, is, is something special. People I meet, like, refer to me as, oh, you're Coach Max, son, not really, you're Tommy McDonald. So that, that has a weird factor, but it's, it's normal for the most part. I've grown up around my dad's teams all my life, and uh, just the chance to be able to be part of one was kind of a dream come true. Being a basketball coach and doing this for a living, when Ryan was in high school and going through the recruiting process or the process of you know, picking a college, I thought as a basketball player, and this is no disrespect to him, uh, I thought his best chance to, to play and have a good career at the college level, I thought he was more of a Division three player. Once I got in the UNH, I knew I wanted to go there. And it really, it was a deciding factor. As soon as I knew I could get, get in here, I, was, I would go here. But at the end of the day, you know, Ryan made his own decision and decided he wanted to come to UNH. And I laid out the whole thing. I'm a pretty straightforward, upfront, honest guy. And I told Ryan, I think the biggest challenge that he's going to have here at, you know, coming to play at UNH is number one, the, the, the demands mentally and physically every day. I've been behind great players since I've been here. You know, Tyrone Conley and Alvin Abreu, um, Chandler Rhodes. It's the guys I've been, been behind aren't, uh, you know, they're, they're some of the best players that have come through the program. I think it's been a great experience for Ryan. You know, he wants to go into coaching. He's obviously been exposed to the game his whole life. He's, you know, I'm a coach. My younger brother, his uncle, Tom, is the head coach at Marshall. So he's been exposed to the game. And I think this four-year experience at UNH, being part of the Division One program, is going to really help him down the road when he leaves here and goes into coaching. How hard it is for Ryan Hearing to be the coach's son and be around him all the time. It's hard to be the coach's friend's son. Right now, it's it's you know it's a unique situation, and I think it would be that for anybody that was playing for a coach. You know, I had a lot of opportunities to do Division Three or Division Two, and only like like one or two Division One, and this was one of them. And in Tommy's heart, he always wanted to play Division One, and um, you know he had some other opportunities. And when we talked about it as a, as a father and, and a son, and not so much as a coach, you know, we talked about where you get a chance to play. You know, when I talked to him, I said, look, and I think the best opportunity for you with the kind of coach that will give you that opportunity is Billy Herring. I think he's got a chance to be a really good player here at UNH down the road. He's 6'3", he's long, he's lanky, very good defender. You know, now his offense has to kind of catch up at this level. The great opportunity to, to, to see your kid day in and day out and see it interacting with uh, the type of kids that Billy recruits and, and, and that are around the program. It, it's awesome, you know, I mean, it's, it's just great for everybody involved, you know, that you're around these guys, you can talk about coach hearing, you can talk about the basketball experience and all that. 